what you're toting with you today? My Auschwitz and my crossbow and the Basante, just in case a bear gets a little too close. <laughs> yep. We shouldn't have to worry about bears unless we hit the river and, and turn east. Um, the black bears, not much going on over on this side until we get over by the lake itself. Um, will be mostly whitetail and Roosevelt elk. Once we get up to the lake, we might start bumping into some black tails and some bear. Um, usually it's not until we get fairly close to the lake uh, that we start to see moose as well. So yeah. we'll, be, we'll be dealing primarily with whitetail and Roosevelt elk by, by starting here at the Dark Witch Lodge. So. Yeah. All right. I do think we are official. We're all set to go. Um, I didn't put any face paint on though should i probably should Ooh, necros did you get your did you get yourself some new clothes nope no nope. same stuff i've had okay i guess i just took off the mask oh it okay looks a little silly all right bright blue out of forth as soon as hawkeye does his makeup we'll be yeah. ready to go because i assume you're gonna face paint there you go yeah uh, lovely. Good. i would grab some new clothes but they're expensive I'm yeah. for that lodge. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We should be ready to rock and roll. I've dropped a marker. Um, we're going to head up a little bit to the right of, of the the hillside here. And I was kind of waiting for the the rain to fall off a little bit, but I guess, I guess it's not bad that we got the rain. Probably not. Why do I have that there? That's weird. Now, Hawkeye knows this route pretty good. We've hunted it quite a number of times. Oh, yeah. Um, even though that elk was back behind us, um, since we're primarily focused on whitetail, I don't think we're going to turn back for him. Unless, unless you know, you guys want to, then, of course, we certainly can. Well, don't matter to me what we do. I would like to get... A See if I can't do better as far as the um, white tail in my lodge. Yeah. The Ro Roosevelt well, elk I has pretty bomb. nice. Okay, so there's a, it's female. a doe calling. Um, I picked yeah. up a 205 mule deer the other night. Nice. Speaking of mule, my mule deer, I actually watered, we watched the one with Bo, where he got a 214, I think it was, his first one. Yeah. trying to remember what that one that I got was. God, I'm still upset over that. <laughs> I guess I didn't get to put him in my lodge. Alright, so the rain's starting to mellow down, so we'll have to kind of watch our movement a little bit. Uh, we got to try to keep 15, 20 meters between us, and it becomes a matter of if we're going to progress in line abreast or, sing or single file. Doesn't matter to me. The way we were doing it with Jimmy the other time was fine. Yeah. All right. Well, then let's go ahead and let's do single file on, and we'll start pushing towards the the hairpin turn in the road. I'll bring up the rear. I thought I was the ass man in this crew. <laughs> Yeah, so the hairpin turn up here, it can be a hot spot for elk. Um, if we don't run into whitetail through this area, then it'll probably be down by the triple ponds that we'll start getting our first real whitetail action. Just like I say, it's kind of tough when you're hunting three people because we're generating a lot of a lot of environment, a lot of pollution. Even with your the stinkification I think it's still yep. it's only so effective <laughs> yeah yeah we've got a doe up there on the hilltop 58 meters out Spinkin st speaking of no stinky I probably should put some on yeah I forgot that too until now <laughs> I thought I smelled something <laughs> Well, you are at the back, so... <sighs> Burritos for lunch. <laughs> See, usually you can't have this kind of banter unless you're in camp. 
being able to do it while you're out hunting, that's almost dangerous. Yeah, was it Jimmy it said it's a good thing they can't this you know, the animals can't hear us talking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I always thought it'd be kinda cool if like you had an active mic and it actually broadcast into the environment. I could see that ruining so many hunts. Oh yeah, absolutely. Alright, well that goes down the hill and she's just kinda slowly working her way the same way we are. Oh boy, she's close. Yep. I'm actually gonna gonna cut to the right and uh, I think this is where we should probably go line abreast. So I'll shift to the right. Um, Necros, if you want to pull up in the middle and Hawk, you take the left. All right. And let's just uh, shuffle sideways to we're a little more in alignment with the uh, hairpin turn here. Usually a pretty solid area for Roosevelt Elk. Yeah, that's good. You got about 35 meters to Hawkeye. Oh, good God. Hold on. Go on, lady. <laughs> you, no, no, don't. God, oh, you got it. that dough rolling up on you? Yeah. yeah. Right in front of him. I've, I can't really move yet. She's, I'll spook her for sure. Okay, I think she's going down that, yeah. No, I sent the eyes on her. You got her? I see her head, that's about all. Alright, well, I'll... And she's out of sight, down the hill. Yeah. I'll go down the lower part of the road. Necros, if you take the the upper part, <coughs> the little hill where the where the road... You can should be able to see where, the, where it drops off to the road just ahead of me. Uh, I'm sure I will see it when I get up there. Well, basically, if if you and Hawk take the high ground to the left, I'll take the low ground to the right. Yeah, I'm going to keep going to the high ground. Yeah, the doe has uh, now come down down the hill to uh, to the road. She's crossed them down. She's headed towards the uh, watering holes, I'm sure. I say it's awful rough trying to... Yeah, if it gets too bad, I can hop out. No, we just have to handle it correctly. we got to take our time, keep a little bit of distance between us, and... You know, if you hear, if you hear a buck call, make sure and let other people know. Yeah, because sometimes we can't hear it. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes only one person will will hear the animal call, and of course we don't want to not realize there's an animal out there and, and go tromping through and scare it off. Yeah. Trying to get a look around, make sure I'm not walking right up on with all this mist. It's still hard to see. Yeah, I'm going to drop our next marker here. There we go. So we're working our way down towards the triple ponds. Once we cross the road here and start going downhill, um, oh. this is where we're likely to start getting some activity. If Since we heard that elk call from uh, up behind us, I, I really don't think we're going to see much elk in this area. So, And this doe, boy, she is, she is just... She wants, determined. To, she wants to be your friend. <laughs> yep. She actually just took off, so okay, that saves it. us some hassle. But we got we got just the right spread now. The distance. There Hold you go. Up. Do you hear something? No, no. I was referring to uh, the distance oh. that, that you are from Necros. If we can. We can try to keep about 30 meters between us horizontally, you know, that's... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Yep. Here she is again. <laughs> She's right in front of me. 
You little bugger. Yep, and I got one straight in front of me. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, girl. So the does are definitely out in force. Yes, in the hmm. track I just picked up from the one uh, in front of you, Kaji. Yep. Okay, keep going, girl. You're gonna probably hear Roscoe whine, and he's in his cage. He got emasculated yesterday. Oh. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and all his shots. And now she's talking. <laughs> yeah, I've got one out in front of me. You got one out in front of you. Try to keep going towards a uh, marker. Yeah, yeah. If you're clear to if you're clear to keep moving, please feel free. Just me and Hawk are gonna have to hold up for a minute to let these does pass. Either that, or we're gonna have to kill them. You know. I'd rather avoid that if I can. I mean, if I don't drop her, then I have to go after her, and I really don't want to do that. Yeah. And that would be the time I would hit him. Knock him down <laughs> one shot. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's just it. You know, you hit them and they don't drop on the spot, then they're going to run and spook everything in the neighborhood. She's finally moved along. I think I yeah. can start easing up again. I got a few more minutes here. Hold on, I got. What's going on, Bromeos? Hey, what's happening, Mr. Freakbird? I'm streaming. We're yeah, I'm watching. Uh, yeah, we're playing the hunter and Yeah, I'm a little jelly. That's one of them I wish was uh Linux native or at least playable. Yeah, well if you're gonna follow the penguin religion, you have to pay the price. That's right. That and I think all the vegans in the world would be mad at me because they'd be betraying my brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got an elk. I used to do it. I used to hunt. Oh, he is right down at the uh, the pond. Not gross. Yeah, no, I uh, saw it. So what I'd like you to do, if you if if you will, um, I mean you might you might get close enough to go hot, but unless you've got Roosevelt elk collar and all of that, I what do. we should do? Um, oh, you do. Okay. Yeah. Well, if, if you've got if you've got the gear to call him in and take him, he's closest to you, man. Might be the five brothers, but I doubt it. Usually they're a little farther over. Very carefully start working my way up towards the pond here. I don't want to run off. That, that elk of his. But since I'm Hawk had to step sand. away and, and I'm a solid 100 meters out from you here, um, I think you're the one who should call him in and take him. You get one? Uh, we just picked up a call from an elk um, on the uh, southernmost pond and Necros is closest to him and he's got uh, elk collar and elk gear or elk spray so Okay. I suggest I suggested he should he should take him because you're primarily after whitetail. Yeah. And I'm a solid hundred meters out. So well, far, he's game, make... not the elk. Well, that's not guy's after the buck. He can have it. He's our well, the whitetail. Let me give a call here. Maybe I can get him. I see where you are. So. Yeah, you're you're about fifty. 60 meters out from Necros, so you might be able to drop a patch and call and get pull that whitetail to you, and yeah. Necros can still get a shot on his elk. I'm, I'm gonna, not going to port. He's yeah. going directly where I sprayed. Are you sure you didn't accidentally spray yeah, the wrong I scent? Just, I just checked just to make sure of that. And yep. it says Roosevelt okay. Elk. Okay. Okay, which one am I going to name? Okay. And here comes the elk. <laughs> of course. Falling right behind the buck too. 
Yeah, how's y'all looking? Uh, lost them, I think. Let's see, wait. Oh, there's another Roosevelt actually out. I got him. Doesn't look too bad, but I don't have the scoring suit, uh, tracking yet. Well, there's Four another Roosevelt uh... that's uh, quite a ways out away from you guys, so I'm actually going to start working my way towards him. Okay. Because Hawkeye's potentially got his white tail coming in, and uh, Necros has I potentially got, got his Roosevelt coming in, so I'll I'm get on no this guy and all of us. Uh, white tail went. Yeah, I sprayed a patch, so he may be coming over here now. And, uh, Elk's four to five hundred kilograms. Not sure about that before, though. Roscoe? Well, yeah, you just look at his horns, and if his horns look good... Personally, they all look good to me. Yeah, <laughs> the same way. But I'm just... I'm prone and crawling, that way I... Don't accidentally scare off anything you guys are working on, and I'm just gonna ease my way over here. The, the thing is, you know, I've gotta, I've gotta be careful because if I put down a patch and call, I could pull your elk away from you. So, I'm trying to oh, move up go. carefully and see if I can get eyes on this guy without. Have you seen that buck uh, hawk? Not yet. I'm just waiting uh, to take a bow shot twisting up your hunt yeah yeah bow is certainly preferable if we can i mean if you oh, look out here. you know if you look out there and you see a monarch of the forest well it can it can be forgiven you know i don't think this is no monarch and that white tail still sticking around here well, let me try again yeah Do you have a call? E yeah yeah e either that or either that or you know uh Slowly. Go, you know, belly crawl over towards him. Yeah, he is heading that way, just very, very slowly. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to refresh your patch. Make sure you use your collar a couple times. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. He just needs a little encouragement. I have no idea where that elk went. Well, oh, there's my damn. There it is, okay. Alright, I should be far enough far oh. enough out from these guys now that I can Got him? Move to a crouch. Oh boy, I think that's a doe. <laughs> Probably one that you nope. Uh, had nope, to wait it's for. it's a boy. Right. There he is. There he is. Let's see how he's looking. Score twenty five to hundred and five. He's small. Yeah. This this guy's not much to to look at. No, he's not by himself. Okay, this elk is like back and funky. Yeah, I've I'm got try calling him back. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, give him a holler, man. Um, I've got two of them over here, but they're both relatively small. One's just a little pronghorn, and the other one's pretty, pretty low in his development cycle. He's down. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, that elk went running off. Oh, kind of like a slow trot off. Yeah. I was going to say, I hope I, I didn't make too much noise. Oh, no, I, I heard it, but... Yeah, he started running off before you, uh, shot. Yeah, well, these guys all of a sudden went nervous, too, and we're way far enough away that that crossbow would have never had an impact over here. Oh. 74 meters out. I just, I'd, I'd rather not use my collar and pull your elk away from you. You know, now go I'm just trying to find the back. See if I can. Oh yeah, I can 58. Slip up and, <laughs> yeah, just a little bitty fella. Yeah. yeah massive <laughs> area. Yeah. Gonna see if I can belly up close enough to take a shot with my bow. I don't want to use center collar because I don't want to jack up his hunt. If we're hunting individually, we have a tendency to try to keep 500 meters between us, but grouping up like this, well, he's... Something just ran off. 23 meters out. Past. 
Okay. I see you now. You're just standing there. Alright, well, I hit, I hit my animal. Oh, that sounds good. Where is he? Oh, that's... That's the one I'm looking one. at. Yeah, I was going to say, he's right on top of you. <laughs> well, the one I just had was different. Or... I don't know. This is weird. It's practically yeah. on top of you there. This is a different one. Yeah, it's a different one. It's only a 350 to 460 kilograms. Okay, that's that little pronghorn, okay. Yeah, he's he's like in his first year of, of horn development. I still might take this one, though. Yeah, doesn't I think even, it's... Doesn't even have branches on his horns. Um, mine wasn't quite that small. I think he had like... Maybe six points. <laughs> well, shot. Didn't drop it on the spot, though. Yeah, the elks usually... Usually it's a little tough to get them to drop on the spot. All right, I got good heart, lung, blood, so this... Here. Now, is that my fellow right there? Now, I'm surprised I actually uh, dropped a red deer with a bow earlier. I think I hit him at the junction of, of the neck and shoulder. And that's why I've got heart, lung, blood, but he's still up and moving. He might for a while. It was. A little bit long. Yeah, got lungs and heart uh, blood here, too. Well, that's cool. We all got, got a starting animal going. None of them are anything to write home about, but we've at least got our hunt underway here. Moving up a little bit, see if I see anything. Oh, okay. So there. So actually, that one I saw run was not the one that I hit with the boat. Cause it's probably the one I hit. Because I, hit hit, I see you. Well, my fella is down right here. So. Now this one should be getting ready to drop. It's been about four or five patches. Oh no! I guess the shot went where where I where I put it, right lung liver. I guess uh, he just had a little more a little more life in him than than I expected. Him to. I hear that. Oh wait a Every, minute! Uh, got, I got blood. I got another one here. Hold on, Roscoe, stop it! <laughs> he says, "I want to hunt too, Dad." Yeah, I know he's usually able to run around freely, so, you know, he's not, he's not bad. He's certainly not a monarch of the forest or anything, but he's, he's all right. This is one tough elk. Every pa uh, tracking patch has been nothing but blood, and he's still going. Yeah. Well, like I say, you, when you, when you get, uh, heart lung, and, uh, the animal is going for a long time, um, a lot of times that's because uh, you hit him at the juncture of the neck and shoulder. Yeah, we'll just do it that way. And we're just going to stell him. There we go. So we've got much better than that in the lodge. Yeah, I think I think you are tracking the animal that ran by me. Me? Uh, Necros, he's only oh. 21 meters up from me. Oh, yeah. Heading in the, in the same direction. Oh um, shoot! Something's walking up on me. <laughs> if you uh, better go prone. If you show me which track is his track, I'll pick it up as well. And so that one right there, you were just that is his. This one here. He's headed for the for the boundary, so he may take himself a right turn here somewhere. Oh, he already did. Sorry, girl. <laughs> Got too no, close. Okay. Okay. Right up, way? right up on the hilltop, just above me, is that little that little pronghorn. He's right there. He's only 29 meters out from me. He's a little bitty fella, so I'm going to hold here so I don't spook him. In fact, uh... I'm starting to wonder if I got off his trail. 
Well, I've got another one. He's uh, not a bad-looking fella, <laughs> right up the hill from me. Let's see. You're not you're not using uh, tracer arrows, are you? Nope. I was thinking Damn about so. buying some, but they're a little expensive. Well, I've got the pair of them that are wandering by me here. I better check my sense of pressure. It's got to be about to run out here. Yeah, four minutes left. I'll just top that off. Um, well, I've got two of them here, but I don't want to inadvertently take your animal, you know? Yeah, I think I got off his trailer somehow. Now the buck disappeared, but I had enough having to take the... Yeah, because the last, last track I had... Going all the way like. <clears throat> Let me slip Rusts. back. The last, the last track I had from him was was right here. I'm standing on on the last fleeing track that I picked up on him, and you're quite a ways off. So he might have here like he turned right and ended up over where you are. our uh our path okay i'm gonna take a look at this guy oh my god doula yeah you might want to see this one what'd you <laughs> get in a typical one two three four five six seven oh 14 points 14 pointer wow. nice yeah that's a that's a nice rack on one, I tell you. That's what I've been look, looking for. Yeah, yeah, I get that, that trophy shot. I'll definitely check out the trophy shot. All right. All right. So I'm going to have to go have put him out there because so, I can't figure out the push-to-talk thing. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Roscoe, you're killing me. You know that, don't you? But we're at Red Feather Falls. We're on the east side of the map. We uh, started out in dark wood lot.